Hey all, it's Unsurprising Yerujo and it is about uh, a lot in a.m. in the morning. Um, something has recently dawned on me and I figured it was worth an announcement. I had to miss work and effectively miss money yesterday due to the, or the day before yesterday, due to the Arctic blast. So I am considering other revenues of uh, finance making. And YouTube is a considerable revenue, despite all of the recent things that have come up, I have to make considerations about other ways to be financially stable because I live in an area where weather affects workability. So one thing that I am considering is taking YouTube more seriously, trying to get a monetized account and what that would look like. And it wouldn't be connected to the account that I already have established. Um, and the, of course the first thing I'm considering is actually ASMR so I kind of already have a plan and um, it's really no fault no foul it's definitely um, I would say like it's a risk-free investment to get like a, a something professional with my YouTube channel um, or start a different one I certainly can't do gaming because that shit's expensive and um, I find that things with face cam are way more entertaining and I don't want to do all that editing um, so, or things that I um, don't have to have a camera for, like podcasts. That would be very interesting. Speaking of podcasts, uh, White Lives Matter is going to return this year, and it's going to take a different format because people of color need to be the ones to talk about racism. Not to say that uh, everyone shouldn't have a say and a platform on this, and the way white people uh, have experiences with racism are different from the way that they are viewing it towards people of color or however you want to phrase that uh, and I'm thankful for white allies but I find that there is a severe lack of people of color speaking on this issue and apparently Nazi debates and debating with fascists is on the rise um, with people of color and maybe not so much people of color but more so LGBTQ people and trans people more specifically so um, as a person of color, as an LGBTQ person, as a trans slash non-binary person, I feel it is though it is my duty as somebody with a voice, regardless of platform, like free free speech is my platform and YouTube is the and Vimeo and stuff like that is the place where these things go. Uh, I'm sorry if this is so shaky. Um, then we should all chip in on this and it's not just me if you have a, a recording device please have something to say about this because white people cannot dominate a conversation that they don't understand and some white people are even having the audacity especially white men not to say white women aren't in this but especially white men are the ones that are saying that there are no white privilege and it just fucking boils my noodles for people that benefit from the privilege to say that that doesn't exist so it's important that we don't accept fascism, and we don't accept racism, and we don't accept LGBTQ queerphobia. And if you can make any kind of content, a fucking radical tweet, please do that. Um, but as far, but I don't think that, I don't think I, I don't know if I have what it takes to get that monetized, but I'm definitely going to continue talking about it. It's just White Lives Matter has taken a huge hiatus because of ever-changing locations and lighting issues. This is probably the best lighting that I'm ever going to get in any recording situation. And I would want things to look better, but if I just make it into a podcast format, I don't have to worry about how it looks. Um, I'll also have like more scripted work because I noticed that just kind of rambling about things that happen isn't as effective as having facts and figures, but my own personal experiences should not be canceled out of the conversation because I am the one who's experiencing them. Um, but I have recently been watching very um, influential, I want to say influential because I'm inspired to do this now, uh, YouTubers, uh, Him, Himberg Guy and ContraPoints. Um, the YouTuber that did the Donkey Kong live stream for mermaids and supported trans youth in the UK, which is extremely fucking awesome. And of course I subscribed and I can't do Patreon, but ContraPoints, a transgender YouTuber, a very fluent, statue and statise, 
um, has a PayPal, so I will definitely continue to watch her videos. She is a perfect goddess of leftist, all, uh, and not all, Antifa, awesome. And I give a little bit where I can. I don't have the money to fuel people's Patreons, and it's really sad that most people just uh, exclusively have Patreon, which is out of my wheelhouse and my own finances. But I'll definitely be glad to throw any amount of money to somebody's PayPal every once in a while when I can afford it. Um, but that's those are very inspiring figures to me right now. I know two white people, right? But uh, two very... Uh, white people that agree with my point of views, not just any old white people, white people of quality, so fuck you. And on that note, I will go ahead and end this video, because it doesn't need to be more than five minutes. Bye.